Hello everyone and welcome to Shablik Protect. My name is Joe Andert and I'm a technical communicator with Shablik. In this video I'll show you how to use the custom patch XML editor so that you can deploy patches to your custom software products. So let's get started. Shablik Protect provides the ability to patch virtually any Windows program on your network. This includes custom programs, legacy programs, and private patches for programs from Microsoft Corporation. To demonstrate this capability, I will create a custom XML file for a fictional software vendor named Software Savers. The custom XML file will define two products, a patch bulletin, and a patch for one of the products. To begin the process, you first access the custom patch editor. The editor's wizard-like interface will expertly guide you through the process of creating your own custom patch XML files. To begin the process, click Create a new custom XML file. Type a name for the file and a description that explains its purpose. The next step is to define the custom products within the XML file. The first product is named CRM. We'll detect this product on our scanned machines by looking for a specific registry value. The easiest way to get the registry key information is to open the Windows Registry Editor and simply copy the key name. You should also note the related value information. You then simply paste the key name and specify the value name, type, and data information you noted earlier. If the product operates in 64-bit mode, be sure to enable the Use 64-bit Registry checkbox. Our second fictional software savers product is named Report Writer. We'll detect it by simply testing whether its registry key exists on a scanned machine. Once again, I'll use the Windows Registry Editor to determine this information. Before you create a custom patch for a product, you must first create a security bulletin that describes the purpose of the custom patch. Now let's define a custom patch for the CRM product. Here I'll select the custom bulletin that I just created. In the patch type box, specify the type of patch that you are creating. If you specify a type other than security patches, when you perform a patch scan, make sure you use a patch scan template that searches for the specified patch type, or your custom patch will not be detected. In the severity box, assign the severity level based on the perceived threat of the vulnerability related to the patch. 
We'll determine if the patch should be installed by checking the version number of the affected file on the machines being scanned. Note that the other fields on the dialog are automatically populated after selecting the executable file. You can use parameters to specify variable file locations. You can target the patch to a specific program. Next, you define the deployment information for those machines that are missing the patch. This is the patch that will be deployed. Note that the patch file name and the expected file name match. This is a must. In this example, we'll specify a quiet install. With the custom XML file created, it is now time to save the file and then exit the custom patch editor. When you exit the custom patch editor, you will be prompted to import the file into the custom XML file collection. To activate the custom XML file, you enable its checkbox. The custom XML file will be subjected to a validation process. The validation ensures that the custom XML is properly formed and will interact correctly with the primary patch XML file. If the validation is successful, the new data is imported into the database. The final step is to copy the actual patch file into the patch download directory. This must be done manually Custom patch files do not contain URLs, so they cannot be downloaded by the program. So, in this example, here's the actual patch file you would copy and paste into your download directory. If you've forgotten where your patch download directory resides, you can always locate it on the Tools, Operations, Downloads dialog. Please view the next video in this series for information on how to perform a scan using the custom XML file. For more information about Shavlik Protect, go to the web URLs shown here. These two web pages contain additional video tutorials as well as a large number of Shavlik Protect user guides. Thanks for watching.